Hi, sweet girl. You are already sleeping, um, but I am wide awake for once, and so I was thinking about the fact that I haven't recorded you anything in a while, and I wanted to um, read a passage to you from, it's a, it's actually a devotional um, by Beth Moore. She was the author that I was telling you about that does um, different devotionals, and she's just an author of lots of um, great Bible studies. But anyway, um, this is from the book Whispers of Hope. And um, it's what she wrote is kind of based off of um, Psalm 119, um, specifically 119 and 89. It says, Your word, O Lord, is eternal. It stands firm in the heavens. And you and I have talked a lot about the validity of God's word and how it never changes. And so I thought this would be relevant to us. It says, We live in the age of information. The resources available at our fingertips are staggering. Professional advice pours from our radios and our televisions. The internet offers a wealth of data. We can access health tips, financial tips, relational, relationship tips, fashion tips, tips on parenting to plumbing. If you have the time, they have the tips. There's only one hitch. By the time you opt to change, they're apt to change. Yesterday's software demands today's upgrade. When the time comes to purchase a new printer cartridge, one look from the indignant salesperson says, tells you that they don't make your model anymore. Yesterday's health tips are today's horrors. We are bombarded by information fluctuation. Are we truly making advances? How should we rear our families? Our parents and grandparents' sound parenting ideas are assaulted by today's experts. We scramble to readjust our methods only to learn that the rules have changed and before we know it, we'll be the bad guys and look who's giving us advice. Single talk show hosts offer marriage counseling and people obviously under the influence provide fashion advice. Scary, isn't it? As the information whirlwind swirls around us, we have an anchor in the word of God. All the peace seekers in the world can't write a better thesis on community living than the Ten Commandments. All the psychiatrists in the Yellow Pages can't write a better emotional health plan than biblical forgiveness and divine healing. All the financial advisors on Wall Street can't suggest wiser money management than the Book of Proverbs. Marital advice, sexual fulfillment, guidelines on business partnerships, how to be single and happy, it's all there. Better yet, it never needs an upgrade. God's word stands the test of time and was written purposely to pertain to every generation. Why? Because his counsel applies regardless of changes in our lives. My grandmother grew up in the late 1800s. She was reared on the principles in God's word. She survived the loss of both parents the poverty of the Great Depression, and the death of her husband and three young children by clinging to what she called her testament. She witnessed the change of a century, yet when she died in 1973, she never could have imagined the world of the new millennium. Though a society foreign to hers complicates our lives, the word of God remains adequate for her grandchildren and their children. We have no idea what awaits future generations. Nuclear disaster, cure for cancer economic collapse, colonization of the moon, we don't know. Times will change, but God's word remains solid. Look to the legacy of timeless advice, to those tips that will last when today's technology is a laugh from the past. Matthew 24 and 35 says, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. I think we both know that. It's just a little confusing sometimes. I love you very much.